Hi, I'm Dr. Dennis Kilpatrick, an ophthalmologist and medical doctor. Welcome to Scottsdale Eye Physicians and Surgeons. Well, there's no simple explanation for what dry eyes are. The eyes need to be kept moist in order to function properly. For instance, the, uh, there's a very thin tear film that coats up the uh, front surface of the eye, fills in all the nooks and crannies so the eye can actually see better. In addition, the uh, film acts like a lubricant, so the eyes can rove around a little bit, look around, and the eyelids can blink without causing discomfort. And finally, the uh, moisture in the eye acts like a self-cleaning system, where it helps continuously wash out any pollen and, and dust and, and uh, pollution that gets in your eyes. There's a couple different places where moisture comes from in your eyes. One is a big crying gland up underneath your eyebrow on each side. It produces a real watery uh, tear, but it's usually off. The brain usually keeps it off. The other source for tears is in this little pink lining of your eyes. There's a bunch of little microscopic glands that they're always on. But the moisture that's produced by those microscopic glands, it's a completely different makeup from the uh, big tear gland. The, that, the microscopic gland moisture is much more complicated. It's got uh, three different layers and each one has its own function. Dry eyes is usually when you have a shortage of the moisture produced by those little microscopic glands. Patients might come in complaining of blurred vision because the surface isn't uh, nice and smooth. Or they might come in uh, complaining of scratchiness because the lubricating quality isn't there. The body tries to fix the problem by taking different steps. These additional steps can sometimes cause their own symptoms. For instance, the body might try to turn on your um, crying gland and patients come in complaining of tearing. It's hard to convince them they have dry eyes when they come in complaining of tearing, but it's called reflex tearing. The uh, body might try to put down a little layer and so it increases the production of mucus in your eyes. Dry eyes tend to be a lot more common with age and in dry environments such as Arizona. The ceiling fans we all have on here dry your eyes out and so do the air conditioning ducts. Another thing that makes your dry eyes worse is that we humans all blink less when we're concentrating on something. So all, we're all staring at our computer screens or the road while we're driving or the book while we're um, reading and we don't blink as often so our eyes tend to dry out. There are a number of treatments available for dry eyes. Artificial tears, also known as lubricating eye drops, are the mainstay. These are products you can get in the grocery or drugstore without a prescription. There are a variety of products available from non-preserved to preserved, even a spray version is available. But these products need to be used frequently. We start patients out at least four times a day, but you can't overdose on artificial tears. Use them frequently. Fish oil has also been shown to improve the quality and quantity of the tear film. It takes about two months for the fish oil to start working. We recommend a pharmaceutical grade product that is much more purified than what you can find in the warehouse store or the, or the grocery store. Certain environmental changes can also improve dry eyes. For instance, uh, avoiding the ceiling fan in your home. If you have to sleep under a ceiling fan, try a sleep mask at night. A lot of people find improvement by putting a humidifier in a room that they spend a lot of time in. We sometimes have to prescribe restasis. It works by increasing the regular tears your body makes, which is probably better than using artificial tears that you might use. The restasis is a prescription product, and it's used twice a day, but it has to probably be used the rest of your life. It stings a little bit going in, but it actually works pretty well. We sometimes have to use punctal plugs. These are little devices that are inserted into the drain of the eye quickly and easily right here in the office. They work by damming up the moisture that's already present in your eye, making it so it doesn't just go down the drain and do no good. There may be other dry eye treatments available, depending on what we find on your eye exam here at Scottsdale Eye Physicians and Surgeons.